40,000 people braving the cold and squally rain in Glasgow's Shawfield Park. Yellow welcome to Tommy Farr. And the atmosphere is electric for what promises to be one of the most brilliant flyweight fights since the days of Jimmy Wilde. World champion Benny Lynch is defending his title against the wide-eyed 19-year-old youngster from Goldborn. And in the first 10 rounds, Kane's put up a fight that proves him a brilliant boxer. The first round, Kane with a strike down his trunks. Lynch opens with a terrific barrage, but little things like that don't worry Kane. As he settles down, he forces Lynch back, and time and again he attacks with brilliantly timed punches to the body to set the crowd roaring. In round two, almost as if he'd been surprised by Kane's comeback, Lynch goes into a clinch. Then he begins to force the pace, fighting Kane to the ropes with lefts to the body, but Kane can take it, and he does. In round three, it's the same story, but in the fourth round, Lynch seems to be getting just an inch or two on top. Time and again, he scores to Kane's body, and Kane gets a small cut over the left eye. Twice in dodging, Kane slips, and altogether it's Lynch's round. And so it goes on, knock for knock, with Kane one of the gamest youngsters ever seen in the ring, but Lynch just getting in the extra points that look like telling in the end. Maybe they're just measuring each other up, Maybe it's the calm before the final storm. And in round nine comes the first flash of the fireworks to come. Suddenly Lynch jumps in to let Kane have it. He rains blow after blow on Kane's face and head. But Kane is nothing like beaten yet. His defence holds right up to the gong. And now Lynch begins the battering process. Slowly the life ebbs out of Kane's attack. Slowly his punches lose their bite. He realises that his hope of wearing Lynch down is failing, that only a knockout can give him the victory now. But it's no good. Lynch's blood is up. The thrill of the night is on. Lynch is forcing Kane back with blows to the head and body. Kane is reeling. He can't hold out. It'll be a knockout. But the gong saves him. But in round 13, the end comes swiftly. Kane's defence has almost disappeared. He's reeling again. Lynch has got him. Kane is down. count of seven and he's up again, but it's all over. Lynch's gloves are flying, raining punches like hail, a hurricane of punishment. Down again, and for the first time in his life, 19-year-old Peter Kane hears himself counted out on the 13th day of the month, in the 13th round at precisely 10.13. So champion Benny Lynch holds his title, while 40,000 cheer the end of one of the greatest flyweight fights this country has ever seen.